Any other yeah, Matt Rosa will play and Josh Schoenfeld will play his first game uh, this week. So he'll make his debut um, as well. So there'll be, the, there'll be the two changes this week. So um, uh, that's a pretty good story for Josh. Um, obviously his first year, but his form has been good the last four or five weeks. So he deserves his elevation. What have you, what have you seen from the young fellow lately? Like, how exciting is it for him to, to come up? Oh, it'll be exciting for him. I've you know, been in Western Australia and down in... Freo territory, he's probably been, I'm not too sure, I think he's been a Freo supporter, but uh, it's a nice touch to be able to play against them first up. Um, yeah, look, he's a good runner. He runs, you know, he's had a lot to learn and he's, uh, he's a really uh, a bit of a sponge with the information, so he, you know, he runs good patterns, he works hard. Um, the last four or five weeks it's come to, it certainly come together for him. You know, he's won a fair bit of the ball, he tagged the second half last week against Heaney and did really well, so... Uh, I think his game's growing. What's he? Sorry, Tommy. I was just saying, what's he improved on? I and mean, we know he came to the club as a good, as a good runner, one of the best runners, probably as a junior. Um, yeah. Oh, are oh, oh, they just? No, they just got bigger. He was only a, a real skinny lad. Um, he's put on. I'll be making this guessing, but I think at least ten or twelve kilos. Um, uh, you know, he's he's all round games improving. You know, he's marking, he's kicking, he's getting better at the basics, and he's getting more confidence with it. Yeah, yeah, especially uh, yeah, the um, all the midfield out. So he'll just be able to add a bit of experience there, and obviously a bit of run in the midfield. Um, so now he's one player that he might use in different spots, apart from his normal wing, might throw him in the centre square as well. Glad a little bit of leadership as well. But how did you see Stephen May and Tom Mitch in terms of their leadership last week? Oh, they're fantastic. I really um, think I think they're growing all the time. They're really two of the standouts, and um, now they've. Really really uh, led from the front of their performance, but I think also their communication, their ability to actually galvanise the group has been great. Well, I know you missed your core midfielders for a lot of last year as well, but last week was probably the first week this season where you've missed first year games. Well, yeah. this is the most we've missed at one time. Yeah. So um, at least last year we would have had, you know, we had Gary, maybe the last couple of weeks last year we didn't have any of them. Uh, but no, I think we had Rish at the end, so yeah. I think, I think Having five outs, the most we've had out. Yeah, well, what, what what um, sort of improvement would you expect this week, just for them having that game together last week? Like you feel, is it, do you expect improvement, or were you quite happy with the? the um... Oh, I expect improvement. I thought we were, which is always going to be the case when you lose so much quality. I mean, it's going to be difficult. I think I think Tuk Miller's grabbing his opportunity. Jesse hasn't hasn't reached the his level of last year. Uh, Mitch Allen's probably struggled a little bit. Um, Hawley's probably about the same as he was last year, probably not quite. Um, but we just haven't got the depth to be able to cover. So we're just going to have to have to be creative, as we did last year. We'll probably throw some players in there that haven't played much there, just to see whether we can get a spike out of them and um, get a plus for the future. Whether it's Garlock we throw in, Archie, um, those sort of players we'll throw around. Totally different teams for me both to what you how you lined up in round two, can you take anything from that match or is this completely clean slate? Oh, I think it's clean slate to be honest. I mean, I think uh, it's probably probably ten changes from our point of view and probably maybe the same for Frio. So um, yeah, I think it's I think it's just I think it's just gonna be two teams who've been decimated with injuries and um, who are both uh, both showing a fair bit of spirit, but you know, both competing hard and both trying to win. Yeah, yeah, there's a little bit, little bit more in there than we'd, we'd hoped. Um, so, you know, they say six weeks, there's only six games, but it might have been eight weeks type thing, injury. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's still in Melbourne at the moment, but um, he'll be back probably early next week and start his rehab. So we've heard a couple of days ago that Gary had sort of a couple of opinions. Have you got any update on that? Uh, not a complete up, update, no, but we think in the op may be tomorrow, but we're not confirmed on that yet. With so many injuries, is it a plus that you kind of get more of an understanding of the list in terms of what's under your top 22 maybe? Yeah, that's, we probably were able to do that the first 12, 13 rounds and then started to get some players back. But now having you know, lost another four or five, it's sort of, I think we've found out enough about the list to be honest. So it's been a bit of a kick in the backside to, to get these latest injuries. Um, but what we'll try and do is find some, to answer your question, more about not so much uh, the ones that have already been there, but some new ones, like, say, Schoenfeld and 
if he gets some games this year, that hopefully should, actually should help him for next year. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I think last year, being such a young group, I think having the having quite a few in the leadership group has helped. So those older players have really been good mentors, and I think there's been some real strong growth. And mentioned about Lynch and May as well. Presture's been been quite good. Jager, even though he hasn't been playing, has been terrific around the club, um, as has David. But the next core of players are, are really uh, uh, actually stepping up. So I think there's you know, there's been a lot of growth, and we think that there's still a fair bit to go. But that's been a plus. No, no, well, he, uh, there was, the second's got to buy this week, so um, he may have been available for that, but we're not going to rush him, so we'll see how he is for the next week. But um, uh, he certainly won't play seniors in round 19. Um, no, he'll be back in the NEFL.